having a brilliant weekend here at Greenbelt. We've had lots of really fun activities. So we've been bringing our campaign Forgotten Justice to everybody that's here. We've been asking people to sign our petition, but also if they like to add a message to our cotton justice tree. These cotton subsidies drive down the price of cotton on the world market. I mean that African farmers cannot get a fair price for their crop. They're also a damaging obstacle at multilateral trade negotiations at the World Trade Organization. We plan to deliver this petition to the US Ambassador ahead of the next meeting of the World Trade Organization in December. You might be wondering why we're attacking Obama with a cotton bud. <laughs> Find out more about our cotton campaign. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, Greenbelt's all about faith, justice and creativity. And Greenbelters have always been at the forefront of action for social justice. So it's really the perfect place for the trade to come, to find like-minded people, to debate the issues and to meet with existing supporters and generate new ones as well. Tradecraft Connect enables fair trade supporters to create a customised web page to make fair trade products available to their friends and family and contacts, maybe in their street, in their church, in their workplace, wherever they want. So they create the web page, customise it as they want with their own photos and text choose the products that they want to sell and then email the link out to friends and family who can make requests through the site and they can collate the order and place the order with Tradecraft to distribute later. Well, Tradecraft is really well known as an organisation dedicated to building more justice into trade systems and helping people earn their own way out of poverty. But we've been doing a big rethink uh, about our whole strategy recently. And what's become clearer and clearer to us is that the real value of our work is often not about just giving people more money through trade, but it's about helping them to flourish as individuals. It's the relationships, it's the communities, being treated with dignity, having confidence and hope for the future. Those are the things that really make a difference. We went out to some of our tea producers in Kenya, gave them cameras and said, take photos of things that really matter to you. And so we've got a display of them here, pictures of children, pictures of friends, pictures of church, pictures of their houses. Uh, and it's a really exciting project. And while we're here at Greenbelt, we've asked some of the people here to take pictures of their own cameras and send them to us. Of what, what makes them think, yeah, this is what life's all about. This is what makes me flourish, what makes me feel good, what makes me feel this is what God wants the world to be like.